In this video, we're going to have a look at uh, blocks in Scratch. So blocks are examples of what programmers call procedures or subroutines. And what they're used for is to give your program a logical structure. We can break it down into a series of logical blocks, each that does one uh, straightforward thing. And then we can, we're going to get a main program to uh, use those blocks. Um, and also that has the benefit of making the main program itself shorter. So to create a block, we need to look in the more blocks section. So imagine we wanted to draw some sort of pattern. So in the um, polygons video, uh, we looked at how to draw uh, a square or other shape. So I'm going to create a block uh, called shape. So we give it a name and we'll come back and look at the options later. But remember that that's there. So if I create um, a block called shape and I click OK, what I get is over here, I get the purple uh, kind of header tile so a bit like the ones in the brown section um, it hasn't got a lug on the top it's smooth on the top and that's because it's used at the top of a section of program um, and what we're going to do here is attach tiles to it to say what shape does and then over here we've got a shape tile so really we're creating our own tiles we're making a tile called shape that we can use in the program and over here we're saying what uh, shape does so let's make it nice and straightforward so let's just draw a square for example so uh, repeat four um, move a hundred and turn 90 and we can do any, anything we like in here we can have as many steps as we like so what I'll do is I'll I'll put the pen down at the top and I'll lift the pen up at the bottom so now if we go to more blocks we can double click shape and um, to see what it does so we can see that it draws our square but also we can use that in a program so if I start a program I can use my um, shape tile and now I've got a really a one tile program that will draw a square um, I can add other things to it of course so if I want to clear um, the the screen I can do that so now if I run my program what it'll do is it'll clear the screen and draw a square okay so that's um, quite uh, useful if we've got lots of different shapes we want to draw then that makes our main program a bit shorter but at the moment it's not doing um, a great deal um, that we couldn't have done by just taking this bit off here and sticking it up here. Um, so let's go back, back and look at those uh, options. So you get to see the options when you create a block, but you can also get back to them by clicking the right mouse button on your block and selecting Edit. And here you go back and you can change the name, but you can also go to the options. So the options are um, little white boxes that appear uh, in the tile so a bit like you, you we can move 100 steps or turn 90 degrees or repeat four times uh, these are little white areas that we can add to the tile and we can add uh, white areas that take numbers uh, strings that's words um, boolean is uh, true or false and we can also add extra text if we want to um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a number um, and if I add uh, a number I'm I can change what I call that number so it's called number one there but that doesn't really suggest what it's for so let's add one for the number of sides that we want for our shape so rather than just drawing a square we can uh, draw a shape with a different number of sides so if you watch the polygon video um, what you'll know is that we need to repeat different numbers of si times uh, according to how many sides we've got and we also change the angle according to how many uh, sides we've got so let's um, see how we do that so notice that the option has appeared now in the block header and just like we use the answer tile in the polygons video we can use that tile as part of our program so instead of repeating uh, four times we can repeat uh, sides so we can use that number whatever number um, is in this white um, section in the shape tile will be passed here and will become the value inside so at the moment uh, size will be one but if I change it uh, to four if I want to draw a square size will be four and let's just do exactly the same as we did um, on the previous video so 360 divided by uh, sides and actually we scaled it down a bit as well didn't we so what we'll do is we'll do the uh, similar thing but let's make it a bit smaller so 300 divided by sides and that's just so that um, they don't get bigger as we have more sides so now if I do shape 4 it'll draw us a square if I do shape 6 it'll draw us a hexagon 
but also because that's just a single tile that makes it much more easy to repeat um, things so if I want a pattern made up of hexagons what I can do is I can repeat my hexagon and obviously if I just do that what's going to happen is it's just going to draw over and over the top of itself so what I would need to do if I wanted to make a pattern is a turn so I'm going to draw a shape and turn and um, because I'm repeating 10 times if I want to go all the way around um, then what I need to turn is 36 degrees because the, the number of degrees that I turn multiplied by the number of times that I do it if I want it to be a full circle it needs to be uh, the product needs to be 360 so 10 times 36 is 360 so if I run that program now what we get is a pattern because it repeats and if I change the number it'll be a different pattern so if I say uh, shape 4 it'll draw me squares instead so what I might do is um, start that in the middle so if I always want my pattern to be in the middle I can um, have a go to tile at the start so it should end up back in the first place uh, back in the place it's first started because I do a full circle but just in case it doesn't I'll make sure that it moves in the middle and again we can do other things um, like we did uh, on the polygon video so we can say uh, give me a number and we can use that number which will be stored in the answer tile um, and we can say we'll have that that many sides for the shape but we'll have that many of them as well so again um, because we want to go all the way around we need to do 360 divided by uh, the answer so now if I run my program it'll say give me a number and if I say four it'll give me four four-sided shapes and if I say five it'll give me five five-sided shapes and if I say six it'll give me six six-sided shapes etc so that's quite a short program to do something complex because I've made it simpler by using a block so using a block um, has given my um, program a logical structure because I've just used one tile to create a shape and really I don't once I've done my shape block I don't need to worry about how to make the shape I can forget about that I can even stick it off the side if I want to um, and it's also made my main program shorter so that's quite a short program to draw something comp so complex we can also do add other things to there as well so if you we wanted to um, change the color for example then um, we could add in an extra um, tile to change the pen color so now if I say uh, a six sided shape what it will do is it will change the color changes it quite slowly so actually um, there are 200 colors so um, if we wanted to do um, use the full palette what I, what we could do is we could say 200 divided by uh, the answer and that should always go through the full palette of colors so as I said in the polygons video scaling and um, just uh, becoming a bit more comfortable with division is a very useful skill in programming so if I run that now then um, I say six it should go through the full palette from red uh, to blue goes through the rainbow and if I pick a bigger number so if I go for 12 it'll give me 12 12 sided shapes um, but also goes through the full spectrum of colours.